I'm Osama bin Laden, and I met all 23 of my wives on Date.com. Very easy. You put in your information, and it spits out the best 23 wives for you. <laughs> you see, my shirt is wet because I'm not even able to drink anymore properly. And my iMovie, for whatever reason, is not able to do more high definition things. When I have a picture, like on Zoom or whatever, it's extremely good. As soon as I put a movie up and film my podcast or my overboard raw here, it's just horrible. Horrible. By the way, that chocolate layer from Switzerland is excellent. And now we do another test. Show you some a picture. What color has the box where the clown thing is it? Is it red, white, green? Is it has it blue dots or no? What is the hair color from the guy on the picture? What is it? What is it? It's red. Look, and here are the blue pictures, the blue dots. On the red and white clown face, jump out, party pooper thing. Okay, boom, air is back on, and it did an excellent uh, show, in, especially in regards of. Mm. Vogue culture. So what I thought was amazing was that two Japanese Olympic guys working for the Olympics. The one had to step back because it turned out 30 years ago there was a bully in school. <laughs> how did well, how that happen? I mean you have an unknown position in an Olympic Say, 100,000 people working at the Olympics right now in Tokyo. Who comes up with, he was a bully 30 years ago, he cannot, whatever, put the starters together in the Olympic field. I mean, it's not talk, we're not talking about high-end uh, people in the Olympic committee. The other guy made a gay joke. He was a, it was a stand-up comedian. What is I think it's already sensational because how can be a stand-up comedian in Japan? I never saw a Japanese stand-up comedian. Ever. So now you have the stand-up comedian and then he made a gay joke 15 years ago and it popped up on the phone somewhere. Somebody filmed it even 15 years ago. I don't even know if cell phones were able to film it. But so they had the gay joke and you just step back from this unpaid function at the Olympics. That is Vogue culture. That is where we are, right? And we're forgetting always that you would not save George Floyd if you disallow Uncle Ben's rise. You would save George Floyd if you would tackle the cop down, Derek, whatever the fuck's name was, because he didn't have the gun in his hand. So if you distracted him, would just tackle him down, George Floyd could breathe, he could survive. It was, would be then, of course, a total mayhem, but he could survive. Somebody knocking at the door or not? Ah, very good. So, yeah, the Olympics for Germany was a big like only seven or eight. England got double medals as Germany. Horrible for Germany, horrible. Normally in canoe, uh, like rowing, canoe, shooting, uh, horse jumping and everything. Germany had medals over medals. But this year it was really bad. I think it's together with Germany going so downhill political. Uh, it's the same like it just went downhill now in the Olympics and I'm extremely tired 
and reading books like this about gender, gender problems or bullshit rules. This guy is actually a funny book because he wrote 50 different rules like sleep over it. Like 50 rules like this and folds them into pieces. What is actually funny? I can't remember. Uh, and I saw King Kong versus Godzilla. I always feel with King Kong, he's so sad. $250 million production. Not one shot without CGI. But King Kong has a good heart. So, good night. Yes, so